Hello and welcome back to the Nasty Metal Project Channel here at YouTube. And I haven't done a video in quite some time, and I guess everyone's wondering why. Life. However, it's time to move life for, uh, uh, well, move it aside. And make way for an album review, which I haven't done in quite a while here. And the album I chose is, definitely, as you can see, an album that was released back in March. That, of course, is the newest project from Michael Schenker. That, of course, is Michael Schenker Fest. But of course, the first studio album of this project being Resurrection, right here. Now, uh, Michael Shanker is, of course, uh, has done been all sorts of bands. I don't want to have to go really into all the history other than just been in Scorpions, UFO, and of course did the Michael Shanker Group, and then did, of course, Macaulay Shanker Group, which is basically like, what, an offshoot? Because, what? What was so great about uh, fucking Robert McCauley that had to warrant um, its own little name? I don't get it. Um, the ego of Michael Schenker, everyone. Uh, and, of course, in doing Michael Schenker's Temple of Rock, which, of course, was the last uh, re uh, recent project that he had did. And, of course, now, Michael Schenker Fest, which the whole project or idea behind Michael Schenker Fest was basically Michael Schenker reuniting with three of its former Michael Schenker group singers being Gary Barden, Graham Bonnet, and of course Robert McCauley. Gary Barden singing on the first two albums, of course uh, Built to Destroy, and the two live albums being Live at Budokan and Rock Will Never Die. And Graham Bonnet singing only on one Michael Schenker group album, and that was, of course was Assault Attack. Uh, I don't have to go into the whole history behind why Graham Bonnet only sang on one album and didn't do a tour for it, which you can just look that information up yourself. <laughs> Though I think I've mentioned it once before. I think it was my anthem review for uh, Engraved. And of course, then you got Robin McCauley, of course, with during the whole Robin McCauley Schenker uh, era of the uh, Michael Schenker group. And of course, you got Doogie White, who did not sing with the Michael Schenker group, but sang with on uh, Michael Schenker's Temple of Rock. And of course, uh, sang with Evans Tucker Tank. Yeah, uh, you know my history with that. I don't have to um, repeat it or give you a whole speed up on that whole thing. And of course, even sang with Richie Blackmore on the, the 1995 album. So, you got quite a bit of uh, singers here, basically, all ones who have had their history with. Of course, the man of the hour. And of course, you got some other musicians on board. Being a new guy, Steve Mann, who of course, obviously I can't seem to look up at any other band he's been with, according to the Metal Archives. This is the old, right now, the first thing he's actually uh, recorded on, I guess. And of course, of course, you got drummer Ted McKellen, who did not play with the Michael Shaker group, but did play with the late uh, Gary Moore. And, of course, the late Rory Gallagher, but was a part of Michael Schenker's Temple of Rock. And, of course, you got uh, uh, Chris Glenn, who I believe is the bass player. Um, yeah. Who, of course, played with the Michael Schenker group. And I think definitely early on, definitely. Uh, not on the first sound, but, of course, they're starting with the second album. And uh, the live version, I'll add on, like, the B-sides. So that... And as far as another musician, you got Kirk Hammett, who only plays on one song, and that's, of course, just the kickoff track, Heart and Soul. So both the two basically duel to each up, um, duel with each other. But with all this, I haven't once uh, mentioned any of the album, or how much of it. I haven't dived into much of it. I only got gone to the background and everything. So it's time to really go in. So uh, now, as far as some of the song itself, um, now, there's only about a uh, couple of songs here, three or so, that has the singers solely singing, while only two on the album pretty much has all four of the singers basically singing on one track. Or two of tracks, meaning all singing together. And then, of course, you got a instrumental there with, of course, uh, Michael Schenker just kind of 
doing what he does best, basically. So with that, uh, I guess it's time to go into which songs which who sings on and so on. Basically, uh, basically, Heart and Soul, which is a kickoff track, and uh, Time... Uh, Time knows when it's time. I'll have Roma Macaulay sing it by himself. Basically, his soul tracks. Uh, then, of course, you got uh, Take Me to the Church, uh, The Girl with the Stars in Her Eyes, and Anchors Away, all pretty much featured Doogie White by himself singing. And, of course, then you got Night Moods and Everest, all featured Graham Bonnet singing. And then you get to Messing Around and Living a Life Worth Living, all pretty much featured Gary Barton. Uh, singing by himself, but then when it comes to Warrior and The Last Supper, all pretty much being track two, and the last track pretty much are all songs with, with all four of the singers singing together. Basically, all duets, basically. With, again, the one sole instrumental on the album, being, of course, Salvation, which is basically, I wouldn't say it's Into the Arena Part 2, but it just has that, or, um, what is it, uh... Captain Nemo off of uh, Built to Destroy. Uh, I don't know if it, it's kind of there, but it, it's just, again, just a solid, uh, good instrumental rock track. So with that, uh, of course, as far as the dueling guitar between Kirk Hammett and uh, Michael Schenker on Heart and Soul, it's pretty great. For the most part, most of the album is uh, pretty damn heavy, even when it comes to the Robin McCauley track, which he was kind of during the whole... Uh, commercial era of the band, uh, you know, the Robin McCauley era of Michael Schenker group with, of course, the albums such as uh, Save Yourself, all having more like a commercial metal sound to it, but here it almost has almost a slight power metal tinge to it, so for kind of being the heaviest stuff he has actually sang with Michael Schenker, uh, but other tracks, um, Again, they're all good. I think some of my favorites with some of these singers. I think Warrior's the best of when it comes to the all four of the singers singing on one track. That's probably the best of uh, the two. Um, Heart and Soul might be my favorite with uh, Robin McCauley singing just solely. Um, Night Mood is probably my favorite with uh, Graham Bonnet singing solely. Take Me to Church is probably I'm picking maybe or Anchors Away. Any of those two kind of are my favorites with Doogie White playing, just singing uh, solely, and of course uh, you got uh, Messing Around, which uh, technically it's almost, almost has kind of a riff pattern similar to Armed and Ready off the debut, but again, probably just a little bit cheesier, but again, I, I like the swagger of the feel of it and everything, almost a, almost even a bit of an ACDC kind of feel to it as well, and I think it's probably my favorite of the ones with uh, Gary Barden on sing on vocals, so really it's all a, it's just a, a solid fun listen, of, and basically it's pretty much a super Michael Schenker group album with of course with some uh, other members from either uh, Michael Schenker group or from other bands or of course a Temple of Rock. So it's just a whole super album, and again it just has a feel of some of the Michael Schenker group albums, though. Uh, will it ever beat some of those classic Michael Schenker group albums? I don't know. But, it's again, it's a fun, solid listen. So with that, my score... I just want to say an 8 out of 10. Uh, again, it's not completely mind-blowing. For any diehards, though, of Michael Schenker and some of these singers as well, like Graham Bonnet, Gary Barden, uh, Robert McCauley, Doogie White, or Kirk Hammett, if anyone is ever going to pick this one up just for that. And I know who I'm looking at. You Metallica fanboys. <laughs> Anyways, with that, again, it just makes a soft, fun list. And I think for, like, and for all the diehards, it's definitely down for those uh, guy, And especially me, who really does dig Michael Schenker's work. Even though, when it comes to his personal life, and uh, as far as his ego, eh, eh, not so much. But still, I still have to uh, separate the, the artist from the art. So... The art really comes first for me. So with that, it's a solid album. So with that, if you've uh, already listened to the album, which again, it's been out since like, what, March 2nd, uh, released through Nuclear Blast Records, and of course was released as a DVD CD version, um, which of course I did not get, of course, but it's alright. It's about the music for me with this album. So with that, 
Uh, of course, you've uh, probably all listened to it. So uh, I want to know what you guys thought. I know I uh, gave out my thoughts as much. So with that, well, what are your guys' thoughts? Um, so if you have any, you could definitely leave your thoughts down below. So until then, this is Happy Flash of Sam out. And I'll see you again later, here soon, maybe. So everyone, take care. Definitely hope you, um, you dig this album, or you may not. I don't know. Take care.